Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for another Mossy Life. Got a little look at my weekly actions here for the week. Just a really short glimpse. I am doing something a little bit different this week and I needed to have the pages off of the coil because the coil was definitely going to get in my way. With it being self-care September, I got inspired and I just really needed to use the entire the entire sheet. So I'm laying down some Happy Planner washi that I got from the wellness line, uh, I don't know, a couple years ago maybe. I love the color palette of this and so I just wanted to use that for a little pop of color because this week I am doing all pen and highlighter. So um, yeah, because of it being a self-care focus, I kind of got inspired to do a little something different in my planner this week and I thought it was pretty fun. Had a little problems with the washi on that side, but it's all fine. No big deal. Just be, I gotta be a little bit careful because when you have it off of the coil like this, it kind of tends to get, yeah, careful with that little area or it won't go back in the coil. Okay, so the inspiration that I had this week was I actually took my first um, <laughs> bath in our whirlpool tub. We've been in this house for like, I don't know, two years, a little bit over two years now. And this was my first time actually taking a bath in our jacuzzi tub. I don't normally take baths. I'm not a huge like bath person. Um, but it was so wonderful to have the jets going and I had some Epsom salt in there and it just felt amazing. So I was inspired by that and with it being self-care to do like a bath type of spread. So these here, these circles here that I'm adding on here, these are what I'm going to be calling self-care bubbles. So the plan is to write some self-care uh, type of things in the bubbles and then just kind of mark them off, find a creative way to mark them off. Yeah, that one I was trying to go over it and that did not work, but it's all good. I'll cover it up later and you'll see how I do that. But um, yeah, so I thought it was just a kind of fun little addition. I will put little different self-care items in the little bubbles and mark them off as I do them throughout my week. So something a little bit different and has a focus of self-care up at the top of the planner so I keep it at the top of my mind in the top focus. So now if you guys have been following along, I usually like to put my workouts in here and I needed, still needed that space. And so going along with the little theme here, I made my workout boxes to be kind of like bars of soap. <laughs> so yeah, that's something a little bit more fun and different just to kind of go with the theme of relaxation and it was like a bubble bath. I, you know, like I said, I don't normally take bubble baths, but anyways, it's still important for me to have those boxes where I can put my workout in there. Um, I don't normally work out seven days a week. Uh, some days I'll put rest if I don't work out that day, but, um, yeah, so it'll, it's there if I need to use it and I like having that space for marking down my workouts for the week. So I'm just continuing to work on my little soap boxes <laughs> for my workouts here. And you'll see in this video there, I didn't add a ton, a ton of color, but of course afterwards I just started kind of going to town and I add a lot more color off camera. Um, but you guys can see, I'll post on Instagram to show you as it kind of grows throughout the week kind of like last week's did. That was really fun. And it was just different for me. It makes, when you have like an interactive type of spread, I think it makes it more like you keep coming back to it and you want to mark off the things for that week. But um, yeah, and I know that a lot of people, self-care means different to a lot of uh, different things to a lot of people. And like I said, I don't, I'm not normally a bath person. So, um, you know, we just take the time to try and figure out what self-care means to us to stop and kind of rest and do what we need um, to give ourselves that rest restorative sort of time that everyone needs. You can't, you can't run on an empty tank. 
So um, this past week at the Moxie Life Live on Facebook in that group, it was we were talking a lot about um, self care and the three main things that uh, are important when you're talking about self care are and I will write those on the focus on the side. Um, what will fill my tank? What brings me joy? And what do I need right now? Right now, I'm just filling in my little AM routines. I kind of grouped a couple of things together, things that I know that I do every morning. So I'll just kind of mark those off as I do them. And then here's my little, there's my bath water <laughs> to separate my AM routine from my PM routine. So I'm just kind of adding my PM routine. I like to just kind of check out my routine off, my little things off as I do them. I don't do everything every day. So it's okay. You give yourself grace for it. Things like I don't tend to read every single day, but I do need to get into the habit of doing that. And so this spread is really important for me to, I go back and check my weekly actions a lot to make sure that I am including my weekly actions in my spread. So it's not just a, you know, a, just a spread of just different habits. The habits have meanings and trying to just better my different categories of life. So yeah, there's the basic layout. And then now I think, yep, I'm starting to add color. I really don't like how this turned out. I wish I would have just stopped right there, but you know, I uh, went a little bit further and I really don't like how it looks, but it's marker, it's down on the page, it's okay, no big deal. So now I'm just gonna like start to add color into the soaps and stuff like that. And off camera, I add some different um, details and things to make it look more like little soap doodles, I guess you could say. But this is a fun one to just kind of doodle in and, and make it more interactive so that I can fill things out as the week goes. And what you don't actually see, here we go, I'm going to start filling in my little bubbles with different things from my joy list. And what you don't see is me checking. I have a joy list that I made last week in my moxie life and I am just continually checking that list and seeing where I can put some of those items in my little self-care bubbles and the original plan was to color them in as I did them but I didn't like that it was kind of bare on the color so that kind of changed a little bit but you'll have to follow me on Instagram to see how this spread actually um, ends up See, one of my goals was to add some core classes three days a week. So I go, I went ahead and put those in on some of those days that I know, okay, I just want to do the core on those three days. And my husband and I are doing a sober September this month. So no alcohol is a big one for me. I haven't been doing too great on my water. So I really need to focus on, I mean, I'm doing better on my water, but if I don't have the water tracker, it's hard for me to actually track and see if I've done the 64 ounces of water. But um, anywho, here's why I'm writing down those three main questions that I need to sort of ask myself when I'm thinking about the self-care items that I want to try and fit into my week this week. And this stencil, I think I got it from Hobby Lobby, I think. And so sometimes the bigger circles get a little bit wonky. You see that they're not perfect, but it's all good, so. I'm just adding in a few of the little things from my joy list that I kind of want to get to this week and just kind of add in with the self-care type of topic. So what do you guys do for self-care? How do you make sure that you're taking care of you even in this really crazy hectic, um, it's not really that hectic, but it's just kind of an unknown time right now. And we definitely need to be taking the time to make sure that we are taking care of ourselves as well as taking care of others. So that is it for the spread for this week. I'm just popping that back into the planner. Hindsight, I should have just popped both of them in at the same time. And that's it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a great week.